Welcome to this course on dynamic optimization. We're going to be covering theory and applications for dynamic optimization, including modeling, estimation, and control. So we're all going to develop, first of all, a framework, as you can see above me, um, and applying it to applications. And uh, we're going to do that with a number of different tools, uh, show you uh, how to solve numerically some of these dynamic optimization problems, especially for large scale and complex systems. So let's just talk about two applications first. One is an unmanned aerial vehicle that's flying through airspace trying to accomplish a certain mission. Now there are a number of different objectives that this UAV should be aware of and should take into account as it tries to plan its trajectory and accomplish the mission. So there may be weather patterns, there may be other aircraft in the area, there may be a city. Uh, think about the situation where the engine uh, stops. How can that UAV plan a trajectory to have the best possible outcome? So another application might be drilling, drilling for oil and gas. And the drill string has dynamics uh, and also the hydraulics of the system. We can create very sophisticated models of these systems and we may want to apply these to be able to maximize the speed at which we can drill both safely and economically. So let's think about, um, you know, let's just look at the course overview, first of all. So we're going to be covering four main topics for the course. Um, the first one is dynamic modeling. How do we create a model that's going to be able to be, able to be used in optimization applications? Uh, the second thing that we're going to look at, uh, besides the modeling, is data. And how do we use that data to update, um, update the models? Um, a third thing is going to be estimation. How do we pose a dynamic optimization in order to be able to reconcile the model with certain measurements, maybe adjusting parameters or states for that model? A fourth thing is going to be uh, looking off into the future. How do we then control a, a system or uh, achieve the best possible future outcome by making adjustments now? And that's the uh, dynamic optimization or if we have uh, it repeated time after time, we call that model predictive control. Okay, so um, let's just talk about the framework that we're going to be using here. The framework is, is going to be solving um, this problem where we're trying to minimize an objective function uh, with certain variables such as uh, inputs, or P, states X, or outputs Y. And we're going to be subject to certain constraints, either equality or inequality constraints, that are going to uh, constrain the objective function. Now, these might represent fundamental models, such as uh, mass or energy balances, force balances, uh, things that we know from fundamentals or empirical relationships that we've derived from data. Now, we can also have inequality constraints in addition to equality constraints. One thing you'll notice about these equations, too, is that there's uh, dx dt term in there. So this is a general form to allow dynamic models that might vary or evolve in time. Okay, so let's, um, uh, just a couple other things that we're going to be talking about in this class. Um, you know, as we go through this, uh, some of the other things that you might have heard of, uh, for example, estimation, we're going to be using a moving horizon estimation approach. Uh, we're also going to compare that with Kalman filters and simple bias updating. Uh, there's some other things with dynamic optimization or control. You know, I, I mentioned model predictive control. We're going to be taking a look at that. Linear quadratic regulators. Uh, comparing that with proportional integral derivative controllers as well. So uh, what we want to do is develop a framework where we can solve large-scale complex systems. We're going to be talking about solvers. We're going to be talking about numerical methods to solve these uh, very important uh, dynamic optimization problems. Some of the resources to get you started with this class are, to, are the course website. Uh, it's at uh, apmonitor.com slash do for dynamic optimization. There's also a discussion group as well. Uh, there's the Google group that you can subscribe to and uh, there will be updates. If you have a question about your particular application, you can send it to the group. Uh, but it's at apmonitor at googlegroups.com and you'll need to subscribe to that um, in order to uh, be able to use that, that list. There's also the YouTube channel, uh, the apmonitor.com YouTube channel, 
that you can go to and uh, you'll be able to receive updates on new videos and content that's posted there. Now, if you need a little bit of help with optimization, uh, there's also a course on, uh, on optimization for engineers, and that covers a lot of the theory and background on solvers, on uh, different techniques, both discrete and continuous optimization uh, that, that you may need to cover before uh, taking this class. There's also, if you're worried about programming and uh, worried about your programming skills, there's also a computational tools course that gives a brief introduction to tools like MATLAB and Python. We'll be using MATLAB and Python in this course, uh, but there's other, there are other tools that you can use as well. Those are not the only two. So most of the lecture material, the examples that we'll be covering, will be shown in both MATLAB um, and or Python. Uh, we'll do some of it in Excel as well, just to show, show some simple examples. Okay, so those are some of the resources. Um, I hope you enjoy the course. I, uh, you know, I, uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions, and I uh, look forward to these, uh, these weeks with you.